What's up guys? Welcome to your 103rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the progress bar. But before we start, I just want to point out a quick error that I made in the last tutorial, which I'm sorry for, but a good thing we decide or I decided to do the progress tutorial because I would have missed uh, missed this completely. So we had this third method called on progress updated, and it's actually supposed to just be on progress update. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what that does a little bit more in this tutorial since we're going to get a little bit more familiar with this async task. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is we need to set up our progress dialog is what it calls it. So within this class what we're going to do is we're going to say um, progress dialog um, something like dialog like that. And we're going to set it up to equal anything. What we're going to do now is within this on pre-execute we're just going to delete what we had and delete this string because we don't really care. It's still going to be called this way, or it's still going to be called here. Um, again, before it calls this uh, string here, or this doing background type method. So we're just going to delete what it takes within its parameters, and we're going to set up our dialog. So what we're going to do is say dialog equals new uh, progress dialog and it takes a context so we're going to refer to our main class up here called internal data um, and so we're going to say internal data which again is our main class name and then we're going to say dot this so we're getting the context of our main class and that's where we're going to want our di dialog to display now we can add some stuff to this dialog so we're saying dot uh, like set progress style um, and there's some defaults that we can refer to from the progress dialog class so we're just going to refer to like a horizontal style one so we're going to say style horizontal finish that dialog set maximum um, and we could like get like how much byte or you know how much data we're working with but for the most part we're just going to set up a, a dubious type of dialog um, so we want the max to be 100 just for this example and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say dialog dot show so we set it up and then we show it um, again pretty simple uh, for the most part you guys should be kinda of familiar with you know creating something actually I'm not sure how much stuff we've created in Java but um, basically this is just creating a dialog for us with the maximum of 100 and we display it and again, this is only going to be created and displayed when we call this on pre execute. So, again, when our on click method, uh, we had that load button, it's going to call this first before it actually tries to load the data. So, now what we want to do is we want to go into this uh, do in background. And what we're going to say is we're going to create a for loop before it actually t tries to load data. Um, again, we're just kind of making a dubious type of. Uh, type of dialog here so what we're gonna say is for and we're gonna set up an int called I and uh, we're gonna set it equal to be zero then we're gonna put a semicolon then we're gonna say um, as long as I is less than let's say 20 oops I is less than 20 and uh, we're gonna increment by one now I'm not sure if we've done for loops yet or not. It's kind of a Java thing. All we're saying is while um, we're initially starting our variable to be zero, and while that variable is less than uh, 20, loop through again, and then it's going to increment that number by one. So it's going to loop through this 20 times for the most part. Now what we need to do is we need to kind of reference this on progress update here, and we do that by a command, uh, and the command is called publish progress and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in oops, and then within parentheses we pass in what we want for the most part so we're gonna pass in five so now what we're gonna do is it's gonna loop through 20 times and send five each time to this on progress update so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our dialogue again that we created we're gonna say increment progress by and we're gonna kind of access whatever we publish progress up here in our do um, doing background 
So, since we're passing 5 in, it's going to update by 5 if we refer to that. And again, we created, or we're passing in an, an array, and you're like, what, we aren't? Uh, we're just passing in one number. How is that an integer array? Well, it still is classifying it as an array at the position 0. So what we're going to say is our uh, integer array we called progress here. And we're just going to say progress, and since it is an array, we have to have the boxes, and we're going to refer to position 0 which again is going to be that 5. So we're just going to update our dialog um, you know, by 5 each time it gets called, each time this published progress gets called. And then after all that's done, we need to still close our dialog box. So it's going to be you know, going through this loop for, actually that's going to go really quick. So let's add a sleep within here. So again, uh, this kind of review, thread.sleep and we're going to sleep for let's do 88 milliseconds for some reason I don't know we're just going to do that and then we have to surround this with a try and catch so now it's going to sleep for 88 milliseconds each time before it you know call updates or increments increments by one and uh, then each time again it's going to pass five and down here we update our progress bar by five and then once it's complete, or once you know this for loop's done, we've reached 100 for the most part, what we're going to do now is we're going to refer to our dialog and just close it. So we're going to say a dialog dismiss, and that's just to get rid of it. Because you know it's going to be caught up in this loop for however long 88 milliseconds times 20 is, and then after it's done doing that, we're going to dismiss our dialog. So let's run it, make sure everything works. I know we went through a lot of stuff in this tutorial. But uh, again, if you guys think you felt fall along, you're getting problems. Uh, make sure this isn't updated like this. Um, like I said in the last tutorial, delete that D. It's progress on progress update. Um, so that's kind of a key point. And then also, you know, we just set up our dialogue and uh, nothing too too complicated there. So hopefully this works. And uh, again, if you guys need the source code, if this is one of your first tutorials you haven't been following in this series, just go to mybringback.com, go to the tutorial section, and under the Android section of, of that, there should be um, the new Boston. And there should be the whole package, the source code you can download, all that stuff. So let's just hit our load data. Creates a progress bar, updates by five for each time it goes through that for loop. And then when it's done, or when it uh, with the for, when the for loop's done, it's gonna dismiss the dialog, and then it's gonna call you know our our file input output stream. So again, we can just say test save load data, and then it loads. So I mean that progress bar has nothing to do with the actual loading of data. It's something completely different, dubious for the most part. But I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. We're gonna learn about external storage. So have a good one.